Soybeans are a staple of American agriculture. They're one of the most diverse crops grown. In fact, 75 million acres of soybeans are harvested in the United States each year alone. We found a family in Illinois where soybeans mean big business. Many people call it the miracle bean, a legume that impacts all of our lives each and every day. Not only when it comes to food, fuel, and fiber, but because soybeans are also a critical crop for American farmers. The beans generate nearly $40 billion a year for the U.S. economy, and soybeans grown here in the heartland touch lives all around the globe. Illinois is one of the country's top soybean producing states. And just outside Carmi, Illinois, you'll find a farm where beans are an important part of the family's focus. For the Skates family, that means farm work even on days like this, when the temperature in the field tops 100 degrees. So we are right here in southeastern Illinois. Yes. Indiana is right there. Kentucky's back there. And we are boiling out here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and so are the soybeans. I take it they like heat? Uh, they, they must like heat. Uh, we, you know, we try to irrigate as much as we can. This is a very large extended farming family. Tim Skates and 11 of his brothers, uncles, cousins, and nephews are all part owners of Skates Farms. You know, I saw your uncles over there, your cousins over there. Family is all over this place. Mm -hmm. It's crawling the skate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, and, and then that's a good thing. So <laughs> you get to work with your family, and it, it, you know, we couldn't have what we have now if we weren't all together. It may seem like a large number of people to run a farm, but the reality of planting and tending a crop demands a good deal of oversight seven days a week. This season, the majority of their 15,000 acres is planted in beans. Soybeans are used for so much all over the world. Uh -huh. Come down here and show me exactly where the bean comes from. Well, right now, these are, you know, these are blooming right now. and It'll be, you know, a week or so before they end up getting some pods on them. But this is basically where this field is right now that pretty well in pretty good bloom right now. And how big will the soybean get? Oh, it's probably two and a half, three inches long probably. And how big will these plants get? Uh, they can get up to, you know, four foot. Once harvested, soybeans are turned into everything from the soy sauce and soybean oil you buy at the supermarket to soybean flour, cattle feed, biodiesel, and food additives. And it all comes from the field. 15,000 acres, it's hard to even get your head around. Uh -huh. That's a lot of land. The soybeans go down to where? You said Louisiana, and then who knows where? We truck them over to our uh, elevator in Mount Vernon, Indiana, and one in Shawnee Town, and they go on the barges, and they go down to the, to the Gulf, down in uh, New Orleans, and they get loaded onto ships, and then they, wherever in the world is there, they're, they've sold them for. And so the products you're producing, all over the world. Right. What do you think about that? It's, it's, it'd be neat to almost to, to know where the, you know, one field went to, you know, to what country it. It, it ended up in, or what, you know, is it meal, or is it oil, or is it diesel, or is it candles, or is it food, you know. To give you a little lesson in agriculture, about 85% of the world's soybean crop is processed into soybean meal and vegetable oil. And soybeans play an important role in livestock feed because they deliver a complete protein profile to the animals. The soybean is so diverse and you're able to use it for, you know, food, for human consumption and uh, food for animals. And not just the United States, you know, we send a lot of meal and oil, you know, in other countries that are less fortunate than we are. And it's a good source of protein for them where they are having a little harder time getting that pro uh, protein into their diet. And producing that product demands a commitment from each of the family members. Tom Skates is Tim's uncle. He spends his days in the field inspecting and irrigating the crops. He says that family support is what makes this farming operation work. 
it, it makes you feel good that you can pass something on. You know, a lot of people, a long time ago, I've heard them say, oh, I don't know how you guys farm together. You know, my brother and I couldn't do it. And, and but, you know, you have to trust one another and, and, and work through it. For Tim and his family, the soybean is much more than just a crop or a business. He'll tell you that he believes this simple bean has a critical impact on the well-being of consumers, not only in the U.S., but around the world. When I was on the Illinois Soybean Board, I was also on the World Initiative for Soy and Human Health, and that's what they that's what they do. Their primary focus is, you know, getting meal or some type of food, uh, soy-based food, to you know countries that are less fortunate than us. So you've seen the impact then of soybeans worldwide. Yes. And how big is it? It's huge. As I saw on uh, TV the other night, they were talking about, you know, if you want to make friends with somebody, give them food. It makes a big difference. I mean, it, it feels good that you can, you know, feed everybody, not just uh, feed your own family type things, but to be able to, to help everybody in the world.